guys, it's Linda and welcome to Sew and Tell. I did a really cute DIY where I recreated a hoodie that my fiance had. He had all of the stain all over it and it wasn't coming out so I thought this was a fun way to kind of recreate the look. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or concerns or comments, please leave them down below. And if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to. To make the paper pattern, you'll need an old hoodie to trace, a roll of paper, roller, scissors, and some writing utensils. Fold the paper in half and lay down the hoodie, then trace around the entire edge and make sure you get the front armhole and neckline. Add two and a half inches for the hem and then go back in to do a half inch seam allowance around all of the edges. Do the exact same thing for the back side and just keep in mind that the neckline and armhole is going to be a little bit different. Match the top of the sleeve with the edge of the paper and then trace around it. When you get to the armhole, you'll notice that the back side of the sleeve has more of a dip. Add the hem allowance to the end of the sleeve and don't forget to add the notches. So normally the front side would have one notch and then the back side has two. This will help you out a lot while you're sewing. For the hood, lay it flat and then trace all the way around. I also added in a little bit extra on the back side. On the pockets, I am recreating the original and make sure you add all of the foldovers and seam allowance. I got the pink Sherpa from Joanne and the polka dot print from Walmart. Lay out all your pattern pieces to make sure there's enough fabric and a good tip on cutting fur is to only snip a little bit at a time with your scissors. That way you're only cutting through the base layer and then you can pull apart the rest. For the pieces you need to cut double of, make sure that they are mirrored. For the hood, I laid them right side to right side and then sewed along the curved edge. I started with a straight stitch and then went back in with a zigzag to give it a clean finish. After you have the lining and the Sherpa done, you want to piece them together. And to do that, I'm also laying them right side to right side and then sewing along that front line. After that, you want to do an understitch to keep all of the seam allowance towards the lining. It should look a little something like this. And then you want to do a straight stitch about an inch and a half away from that fold. This will keep the chain in its spot later on. On the pockets, do a zigzag stitch all the way around and then fold in the diagonal lines to sew them down. Lay the pocket on the bodice and then fold in the top and bottom. You want to pin them into place so that they don't shift around while you're sewing. And then you want to sew a straight stitch along the top edge, the bottom edge, and there's two shorter diagonal lines. Once the pocket is on, lay the two bodice pieces right side to right side and sew up the shoulder and side seams. For the hem, do a zigzag stitch along the edge and then fold it up two and a half inches. You want to finish it off with a straight stitch, but make sure you leave a little opening for the elastic. I used a 2 inch wide elastic and to measure out the length, just wrap it around where it would sit and make sure you also account for the overlap. Use a safety pin to weave the elastic through the opening and once you get it through to the other side, seal off the elastic with a zigzag stitch and then make sure you also close up that opening. For the sleeve, fold them in half right side to right side and then sew up the seam. To attach the sleeve, flip the bodice inside out and then insert the sleeves in through the armhole. Once you have all of the seams and notches matched up, you can pin it into place and then sew all around that edge. Finish off the sleeves with a zigzag stitch and then fold it over to hem. 
to attach the hood, start from the center back and then pin all the way up to the front. I had about a one inch overlap and then you want to secure it with a single stitch and zigzag stitch. To add the chain, cut two slits at the front of the hood and make sure you're only going through the Sherpa layer. Attach a safety pin to one end of the chain and then loop it all the way through. To finish it off, I'm adding these key rings and I thought they were a cute touch and it helps prevent the chain from going through the opening. If you want to add on the ears, take some of your scraps and cut out two circles. Then use a running stitch and sew all the way around the edge. You'll notice that it'll curl up and then what you want to do is fill it up with some more of the scrap, pull on both sides of the thread and then do a few more stitches to tie it off. I wasn't fully committed so I wanted to add on these pin backings, that way I could take it on and off, trim off some of the Sherpa and then glue on the pins. Now you can attach them and detach them whenever you want. Look like hosted. 